Sarah Rose here. How are you? Make sure that you like and subscribe before you watch this video in case you don't like it, in case you don't want to subscribe after it. Thanks. It's raining outside. Japan has been very rainy lately. It is July. Where's the warm weather? I don't know. I moved into my new apartment. We all know this as well. Now I need to find a gym. And you guys know the struggle of me trying to find a gym with tattoos in Japan. It's just not allowed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a gym in walking distance, Anytime Fitness, and see if I can sign up. If they don't let me in because of my tattoos, I was thinking I could go in when this staff's not there and work out just fine because I've read that online. But that's not my first choice. There is a gym in Roppongi and that is like, it's like an hour away from here on a train ride and I really want to work out at that gym. The problem is, is that it's so far away and it's going to cost too much money to get there and back all the time. And I know they allow tattoos. That was my original idea. If Anytime Fitness will not let me sign up because I have tattoos, that's my only other option. I'm going to make this work and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I am determined. And then I'm going to start my own gym in Japan because this is ridiculous. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go and find the gym. I'm gonna do this without a camera because it stresses me the fuck out. You guys don't even know. And I'm gonna come back and report what has happened. I'll um, I'll film a couple snippets on my phone and insert them right after this, but we'll see what happens. I also wanna do a sports clothing haul right after this too, because I got some, some new fitness stuff and I wanted to show you guys that. Uh fuck. Hello? Uh, hi. I don't speak Japanese. I only speak English. Alright, uh, Haptic is here, so uh, maybe we can go to the gym together. I'll update you after. Okay, I'm back and I'm all wet. It's raining out there, so I had to get an umbrella. I got me a nice umbrella for my umbrella rack. You didn't buy an umbrella. I had to, it was raining. So, bad news, as you guys saw, uh, can't work out at any time fitness. I don't have a residency card or a bank card. I am, I'm like, how much is it for a month? And he's like, yeah, it must be nice, must be nice. I walk in, the guy's like, Look at my tattoos. It's like no tattoos. I'm just like shut up. <laughs> so I can't work. I could work out if I covered up my tattoos. They would let me sign up if I had a residency card. Do I look like I'm a resident here? No, I don't have a residency card. I don't have a bank card, and that's ridiculous because I've seen other foreigners sign up at Anytime Fitness, and they probably don't have all that stuff. <laughs> but I'm gonna try at the the other gym that's like three hours away, and I'm going to work out. I'm persistent. Been through this a million times. There's always something. Hey, it's the next day. Um, I was frustrated yesterday, I admit. So Haptic, I, I told Haptic about it, and he called his one Japanese friend, and she's really good at like bargaining with Japanese people and like, you know, like try to like figure things out and stuff. So she talked to them for a while, Anytime Fitness, anyways. And she basically got everything out of the way except for the residence. Uh, the residency so there's just absolutely no way for that one for that specific anytime fitness that I could um, sign up because I don't have a residency card here I'm not a resident <clears throat> so they said maybe a different anytime fitness but it's so weird to me because usually like chains like that gym chains like they all kind of operate the same but here in Japan everything is so different in every district in every place so, scratch Anytime Fitness, which is a super bummer because it's so close um, to me and it's in walking distance. And it would save so much money on the train. We know how Japan is by now. I know how Japan is. And there are so many pros to living in Japan and so many cool things. And there are a lot of cons too. They're just gonna go hand in hand. That's how things work. Today I'm gonna go to the gym that I originally planned to before I even got here. So before that, this video is sponsored by Like Bunny, and I've been really excited to show you guys the workout clothes that they sent me. I haven't been able to do it yet because I've been on the go. I haven't been making really dedicated gym content, but right now I really want to show you guys these gym clothes and I want to wear them today. So I'm going to show you a few outfits I got from them. You can get the links below. The discount code is Victoria20, so you can get it discounted. Okay, so I'll show you everything I got here. 
Now, whenever I got these, <laughs> when I went back to America, okay, I was in Japan for a bit and I did lose some weight, okay? <laughs> I, um, then I went back to America and I gained it back. So when I ordered these clothes, I was a little bit, uh, less, I was a little skinnier then, so I don't know how these gonna fit. They're stretchy. So these nice yellow leggings. And one of my favorite things, and this is weird, but one of my favorite things about this brand on the tags comes with a bookmark. Isn't that cool? Every, every item comes with a bookmark. So I got these yellow bottoms, but I also got this yellow top to match. I think there might be a bit of different colors of yellow, but I kind of wanted like a yellow little theme thing because I don't really wear a lot of yellow clothes. So yellows are a little bit different in color, but you get the gist. It's really cute. I like the little twisty thing right here and then the back it has cool straps. I like my fitness clothes to be like really kind of expressive too because I mostly only wear fitness clothes so I like to change it up. So this is my favorite top, well one of them, there's another one that's my favorite too, but this is something that you can wear to the gym and also something that you can wear out anywhere else. It's really cute. And also with these clothes they have like um, inserted padding so you don't have to wear like anything underneath it. And then I got these bottoms, these bottoms are too small. I'm like on my tippy toes right now. I've already worn this to the gym several times because I couldn't like, I was too impatient. I've been having this thing with like white clothing lately. I really like it, but it's like the worst thing for me because I like get everything all dirty, but I'm gonna put this on real quick. And this is the last top. Again, I like it because it's like strappy and kind of like, it fits into my adventure futuristic type of look. You can get the discount code below. It's like bunny. Um, big shout out to them for sponsoring this video and now I'm going to try and go to Rapungi, that's where this other gym is, and see what happens there. I'm going to wear my new clothes there too. By the way, it's still raining outside. It's been raining ever since I got here. I haven't seen the sun yet since I've been here. It does weigh in a person. I need to work out extra. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There's a lot more foreigners here, I've noticed already. So hopefully this gym will be okay for me. I'm gonna go walk nine minutes from the Prongi station to the gym, and I'll let you know how it goes. Like my makeup? Leave a comment if you like this makeup. I've been um, experimenting with different types of looks. Hold on, my lens is fogged. Sorry, it is very humid in here. So yesterday I was really excited because I finally found a gym in Rapongi. Like I said, it's quite a journey for me, but it's what I planned on doing before I came back. And a lot of you guys were like, why are you going back to Japan whenever you're so limited with things? You can't go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. I feel like there's always a way to do things. It's just gonna be more work or more money or more distance or whatever but if you really want something then i feel like there's always a way around things it's a lot harder in japan though let me tell you they're so ingrained with rules and there's no budging them that's just the way that the culture is also as a foreigner too i don't expect to get any other type of treatment than whatever they want to give me some of the rules they have are just unnecessary. So I went to the gym. It is the only gym that I have ever found here and I've been coming to Japan on and off for a year that allows tattoos and allows filming 
and funnily enough allows dogs inside. It's really cool. It's small, but most gyms here are pretty small. There's no restrictions and you don't have to have residency here. You can do it by day or month. It just, it felt so nice and it felt like home kind of in a way because it was just like I was able to be free there and I'm like, this is what I would, I would love to start a gym like that just to make people feel like a space where they don't feel like there's so many rules and regulations they have to always follow. And also for foreigners, there's a lot of foreigners working out there because it's a lot easier to just sign up. It was so easy compared to the struggle I've had for the past year. I know that this gym struggle seems pretty silly, but the gym obviously is a big part of my life. Roppongi in general is kind of like the club scene or like the party scene of Tokyo and a lot of foreigners like to go there when they first come here because for some reason when people travel they like to party and I don't understand that. Why travel if you're just going around trying to just get drunk and party and I don't really see the appeal as much in that but that's kind of the scene that it is. There are more, more options for foreigners. I'm gonna make some oatmeal. I got I found some oatmeal. Oatmeal is very difficult to find here. There are just some some weird things that are expensive and hard to find so I guess this is First time me kind of cooking in my own little kitchen here. Went to the store and this tiny little bag of oatmeal was about uh, three or four dollars, but it just felt good to eat. <laughs> and then I got, for sweetener, I got some pure cane sugar. And you guys are like, how do you know that's cane sugar? I, I use um, the translator app, Fresh From Cane, the cane sugar, and that's how it's made. I have some cinnamon, got some organic cinnamon that I found. And I have a banana here that I can put in it. Almond milk. Oh, also, forgot to mention, I'm wearing uh, that yellow top from Like Bunny. It's like my bowl, oatmeal. The cinnamon here smells so good. I don't know why, I don't know how, if they make their cinnamon different or whatever, but it smells really good. And I'm just gonna cook this in the microwave. Cooking in my kitchen. The one fruit here that's not that expensive and it's kind of normal price is bananas. So I'm trying to cut a little bananas to put on top. I put in a little bit of blueberry jam in it and then some cinnamon on top. Do you guys eat breakfast? I'm never really hungry in the mornings. I kind of usually intermittent fast, but. That's gonna be the end of this video. I know a lot of my videos have been indoors lately and the reason for that is that it's been raining for since I've been here and it's very hard to film outside in the rain. But expect more adventures. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. -bye.